The actual CT machine, what happens is the patient sits in that position. This thing called the gantry spins around the patient, it usually takes about 20 or 30 seconds. They just hold still and it's done. And then we get the image on the screen immediately. That's the right eye. The septum is right here. The septum just divides the nose into two cavities. And then we've got these big gray blobs, which are the turbinates, and those often cause uh, reduction of airflow. In his case, he has big turbinates. But the rest of his scan looks pretty good. We're seeing air, which is black in the sinuses. We don't see any gray. And uh, we, we can scroll through to get from front to back to get the full 3D evaluation of his sinuses. And again, we're seeing black air. The, his drainage pathways out of the sinuses are right here and here. They are a little bit narrowed, but overall his looks pretty good. And if we compare that to somebody like this, you can see, wow, that doesn't look the same. This person has a bent septum, which is really narrowing their their nose and their nasal cavity so they don't breathe well. They've got tons of this gray stuff in their sinus, which is not most people think that's mucus. The lining of the sinus, you know, the sinuses have a lining, a skin, and the skin is normally so thin, like it is on this patient, that you can't even see it. When the skin gets inflamed and infected, it gets thick and swollen, just like the skin of your hand would if you got an infection, and it starts to become visible on a CAT scan. And at this point, you know, it's like, 50 times its normal thickness, and it's very obvious that this patient is going to have lots of sinus complaints. And at this point, medications don't really fix this. It's clogged. His drainage pathways out are clogged up, so he's kind of just destined to smolder and deal with this until we fix it.